In this video, I'm going to briefly show you how we create portfolios, workspaces, and charts in Dynamic Trader. A portfolio may include any group of data files of any time frame and any data format. And a workspace may also include any symbol of any time frame and any data format. We often create workspaces that include weekly, daily, and intraday charts of a symbol to be able to quickly view the analysis of all time frames for any one symbol. A workspace is any group of charts, regardless of the symbol or the time frame. For instance, in this workspace, I have the Euro dollar weekly, daily, 240, 60, and 15 minute data. Now, I could have just euro, euro dollar, dollar symbol in this workspace, or I could also have other Forex markets or other uh, currencies or other uh, futures markets or stocks. Any market that I have data for, for and that I've included in a portfolio, I can then create a workspace from. So let's take a look at how we go. We'll go under workspaces, or excuse me, let's go first our portfolio manager. Because uh, first, with data that has been collected and downloaded to our hard drive, we can create portfolios. You can see I've got a lot of portfolios here because I've got a lot of data um, uh, from different data vendors, everything from stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, to Forex markets, to futures markets, etc. And I have them categorized in, <clears throat> in many different ways. But um, let's just take a look at the Forex daily data. And you can see we can choose our data type. In this case, it can be Metastock. And then we can go to um, uh, the, the folder that includes, in this case, the Metastock Forex data. And there's the list of almost every Forex market that's traded in the world on this data that I get from Metastock. And from all this data, we don't have to include all of this in a portfolio. We can choose what we want to include in a portfolio. And I just have some of the major um, euro cross rates, dollar cross rates um, in this portfolio uh, of daily data of the Forex markets. And of course, we can add, uh, add or remove any symbol that we have in our hard drive into this portfolio. So let me close out of this and close again. And if I want to add a symbol to a workspace, um, excuse me, I don't go on workspace. I just can go on chart for add a chart, or we could go here, add a chart, but we can use the icon. Um, we could go, uh, for instance, uh, Forex daily data. If I wanted to add a different Forex daily, maybe the pound dollar. Um, I can add that and it automatically, uh, of course, comes up. And then I can add different time frames if I want. And I can set a default for how I want any new chart displayed. In this case, it has red, or excuse me, it has blue and kind of gold color lines on this daily chart, <clears throat> which distinguishes, in a second I get it down, uh, when the week changes. So we have five bars is of kind of gold colored. Uh, that's one week, Monday through Friday, and then another five bars. And then I set a default setup for my indicator window. And uh, when I have an indicator come up with, will always come up with every chart in particular settings. And we can go in and change the heading um, of any uh, uh, of the charts in the workspace, um, such as this. Maybe I don't want to have the name of it and the symbol of it, so I can name it whatever I want and change it up there. Um, so that's how we do our portfolios, workspaces, and charts. It's fairly typical. It's how probably most uh, trading softwares do it fairly similar to what we do. So uh, there's no big learning curve to learn how to do this. And of course, DT reads all of the major uh, data formats. Uh, let's go back to Portfolio Manager. And we'll do it as if we're going to create a new one. Here's our drop down. We, if we have ASCII data, CSI data, um, Metastock data, um, Warden Brothers data, TC2005 or later. Uh, and then we have, of course, for those of you who have TradeStation, um, we have a utility that converts data 
from the trade station program uh, into a, a file that DT can read. It's very quick and easy to create portfolios and workspaces for any market and any time frame in Dynamic Trader. DT owners also have access to the Getting Started videos on the password protected DT owners pages to learn more about creating portfolios, workspaces, and charts with all data formats.